Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Akash and I am a first year PhD student working in stem cells. And in today's video, I'm going to review some books uh, that I have received recently. Well, uh, everyone who is preparing for this uh, CSIR net or gate or any of this national level exams in India, you probably know about the Pathfinder Academy. Uh, they have their own books and they have their own classes uh, that uh, trains students specifically for these different kinds of exams. So Pathfinder Academy was kind enough to send their latest edition of all the books that they have on life sciences and they asked me to do a review of that. But whatever I'm going to say that's going to be my own uh, views and uh, Pathfinder is not paying me to do all this. Uh, they are not paying me to say whatever I'm going to say. So they asked me to go through the books and, you know, get get my views on the paper and <clears throat> make a video out of that. So first of all, Pathfinder Academy, thank you for giving me the books. And yeah, here goes the review. So firstly, they have these four books. So this is the 8th edition I guess, 8th yeah, edition, this is the part 2 of life sciences, fundamentals and practice. You also have the part 1 as well. So I'm going to start, start off with the part 1. So if we look at this, the part 1, then you know, the if you look at the contents, the first chapter we have biomolecules and catalysis which is a part of the biochemistry module. And again, we have the bioenergetics and metabolism. So, well, they've split these two parts into different, uh, into different chapters. And yeah, this is the first two chapters basically belong to the bio biomolecules or biochemistry unit. And the third chapter is cell structure and function, where they have also included, I guess, yeah, cell signaling and uh, cell cycle and cancer as well and chapter 4 is prokaryotes and viruses and chapter 5 is immunology and chapter 6 is diversity of life form so diversity of life form let's put it aside this is a completely different uh, completely different thing you have the uh, classical zoology and botany but uh, they have like split the chapter, uh, split the unit four of CSIR uh, syllabus into various different chapters. Like <clears throat> they have immunology as one of the chapters, and you also have the cell structure and function where you club together everything that is there in cell biology and cell signal. So that's good, and the content inside. Well, what uh, I when I when I got the book, the first three chapters that I look into was molecular biology, the second was cell biology, and the third was human physiology. So these three chapters uh, I looked through, and really the explanation was very you know very good, and it was very lucid enough to understand if you're reading it for the first time. And these are also good for quick revisions, but. At the same time, I won't recommend just reading these uh, these texts of, of of the book, but you also need to refer to uh, various different standard books. Like for cell biology, you have Bruce Alberts, you have uh, Leninger for biochemistry. So once you go through the fundamental concepts over there, then you can come to this, and then you can just you know scope the subject or scope the topic from this uh, book. But whatever it is, the content is very curated for the students who are uh, giving any kind of exams, national level exams in uh, India, whether it be CSINET or GATE or any other exams per se. So that goes for the first edition. Uh, I mean, the first uh, part of the eighth edition, the second part of the eighth edition. And mind it, the eighth edition is the latest. If you want to buy it, you need to con contact Pathfinder, and uh, they can give you the uh, they can give you the eighth. Uh, I mean, the eighth edition, all the I mean, eighth edition, the part one and the part two. Now, if we look at the part two, the book number two of the eighth edition, you 
basically have the first chapter starting with genetics and you have everything in genetics clubbed into this chapter that is really good the second chapter you have recombinant dna technology which comes under the unit 13 of uh, csir syllabus then you have plant physiology and development uh, which covers almost everything that you need to know about plant physiology and then you have human physiology finally you have ecology and the last chapter is evolution okay so over here what i want to uh, like point out is that all the chapters are really good but they should have also included developmental biology as a separate chapter because that is one of the most important unit and a very vast unit for students. Well, uh, in human physiology, they have a little bit of the embryonic development where they have talked about fertilization and the generalized pattern of early development and regeneration. But this is not sufficient for developmental biology. You have various different, uh, you know, if you're going for CSIR, you have various different organisms to talk about, not only humans. You have sea urchin, you have frog, you have other different organisms. So that should have been there. So they missed this developmental biology chapter completely. One thing I would recommend Pathfinder if you're watching the academy, please incorporate that into your books as well because these two books apart from these two books they have two other books oh god this is really heavy so this uh, another book is there which is fundamentals of ecology and environment this is basically your ecology and the i mean the chapter ecology that you have you have ecology in one of those books as well and you have a separate book for ecology and environment and the final book, this is really good. This is the biophysics and molecular biology. You have all the techniques over here. And trust me, the techniques are really well, uh, you know, described in this book. So if you want to know about the techniques and you're not getting any books to do that, although there are a lot of standard books for reading the fundamentals and basics of the techniques, uh, you can refer to this book, Biophysics and the Molecular Biology Tools and Techniques. So these are the four books. And one more thing, this book, The Ecology and Environment, uh, this is the third edition you can see over here at the top. And um, the Biophysics and the Molecular Biology, this is the fourth edition. But the other two books, those were the eighth edition. So these are all the latest editions, uh, but... Um, uh, these two, uh, these two are, uh, I mean, very new rather than those two uh, big books, the Life Sciences fundamental, uh, Fundamentals and Practice, uh, part one and two. So overall, um, what I would say is the books are really good, um, but uh, that one thing that I pointed out, the developmental biology part needs to be included, the animal developmental biology. The plant developmental biology is there because you have a dedicated chapter for uh, plant, this plant uh, physiology and development, but the animal developmental biology is missing. That I highly recommend that you incorporate that. And um, uh, the overall experience while I was reading those chapter of molecular biology and everything, those were really good. The diagrams, the explanation, the elaborate uh, explanations were really, really good. I mean, if you are a student and you're reading it for the first time, uh, you would probably understand by reading just a few lines. <clears throat> so that's there. So that's my honest opinion about all these different four books that I have. And you can also buy these books. Um, you, you, you just need to, uh, you know, contact Pathfinder. I would uh, leave the email ID and the um, phone number of Pathfinder in the description. You can check that out. And yeah, whatever I said, uh, like I said before, it is Pathfinder is not paying me to say all this. Uh, whatever I felt, I have given a review and hope this helps and hope you have better experience while you're reading these books. So thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.